Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church. There's an organization, or a religion, if you will, that believe that God that they follow has instructed them to force people to become one of them. They have no concept of grace, their means of being approved of by their God, who doesn't really exist at all, is by keeping a set of laws that they have formulated. These laws, they believe are right, consist of many that are cruel and disregard the human rights of others. For instance, if a lady is raped, the lady is shunned and punished by the men of the family because they say she has shamed them. Just when she needs kindness and understanding, they turn their back on her. This is just one example of their twisted mentality. Our God, who calls himself the God of Israel, has given mankind moral freedom to act responsibly without coercion and show kindness to all people. The only way our God could offer salvation through Jesus Christ freely is to give man the freedom to reject him and the love and salvation that he has graciously offered to all mankind. Think about it. If God had forced man to believe, it wouldn't be a gift. And it's written in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The religion that I spoke of believes that morality can be enforced by keeping laws, and they say grace makes people live ungodly lives. They don't realize that by God's grace we are drawn closer to him. Love and grace never pushes us away from God. It's like a parent-son or daughter relationship. If a parent is kind and loves the child, the child will love him as well and respect him. When we trust in Jesus Christ as our only one and only Savior, we're indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And any changes in our lives comes from within, by the prompting of the Holy Spirit. And as we study the Holy Bible, we feel more and more gratitude for Jesus Christ. We realize that we don't deserve the salvation that he has provided. As I've said quite often, Jesus deserves all the glory. To trust in our own selves to attain salvation by works or keeping laws of any kind is attempting to place the glory that Christ alone deserves and place it on ourselves. It has been documented that Muslim dignitaries, when visiting our other countries, have enjoyed the liquor and frequented houses of prostitution and have committed other sins that they profess to shun in their own country. I'll admit there are many so-called Christians who have neglected to follow the guidance of God. God has provided for them to do as well as he would like. Those who are really saved and continue in rebellion to God's direction will be chastised. As it says in Hebrews 12:5. those self-proclaimed Christians who haven't trusted Christ alone and believe in works and any other religious organizations who deny salvation by Christ They are hypocrites. The scribes and Pharisees were a very religious people, and they outwardly appeared to be righteous. But Christ knew what they were really like. He knew that they loved the praise of men but did not have a humble attitude and thought they would be accepted of God by their own self-righteousness. It's the same today, even though the Holy Bible teaches differently. It's written in Proverbs 14, 12, There's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It does seem right to earn salvation by doing good deeds and works, but God doesn't think like we do. It's written in Isaiah in Isaiah 55 where God says, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. God offers salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. There is no other way. It's a wonderful gift. This has been Pastor Tom Adams. I'd like to invite you to our services Sunday at 9 a.m and Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Until next time, may the grace and love of God become more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now, and thank you for listening.